lower trestles providing the ultimate canvas for these artists to destroy. Joel Parkinson, Wiggly Dantes, Adriana de Souza. So uh, we've got a veteran matchup right now on paper, Wiggly. It says rookie next to his name, but he's been at this for a long time now. Three powerhouse surfers. I like the, the dynamic between these three surfers. You know, Joel, just uh, the stylish cat out of the three, as we see Adriano D'Souza getting a quick start during that break. Nice little tail blow for Adriano. One thing that's, uh, you know, makes him, you know, so uh, dominant year after year and consistent is he just never falls. He has a wide stance, really sticks to his guns. He knows what he's good at. And uh, he, he knows how to execute the wave, uh, take risk after he compiles a nice score. You can see now that he's got uh, a few turns whoa, done and dusted, he goes for a little air at the end. So he's a, he's a risk taker when necessary. He's a risk taker and a heat maker. This guy's <laughs> so consistent. I'm angry, you know, because, you know, I'm, a, I'm in the top five. I need a really good result over here, you know. It's a really good opportunity for me. So I did my best. I did, like, I never, I never give up. So I just, like, waited for, for those little nuggets that are coming on, on the reef. So I just, like... I just went for broke, you know, like, I just surfed it, like, all my ways, as was my last one, so that, that works really good. Throughout this year, we've talked about the Brazilian storm. Six of the 12 surfers remaining are from Brazil. Why do you think Lower Trestles is suiting the Brazilian surfers so well? Uh, you know, this way it's a playground for us, you know, and also this guy feels really good to be in California. It's a really nice place, so, I don't know, I think I just feel, like, really excited. <laughs> Felipe, you continue to amaze everyone. Keep that pace throughout the rest of the event. All right, thanks. Over the summer, where he basically was saying, Miguel Pupo, he was surfing to actually put a linoleum floor at his house. He was living in a house that had actually dirt floors, you know? I mean, this was well into his teens, so for the uh, young Brazilians. And, you know, Adriano is kind of the first guy to uh, really step up and get onto that international stage. You had your Necos and, you know, your, your big surf stars from the 80s and 90s, but Adriano really became, to me, the first big international Brazilian superstar. Kelly Slater is our Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's been around a long time, but has, uh, somehow has managed to keep his surfing so relevant. And here we go. Wiggly Dantes, his backhand has been lethal throughout this entire event. And it looks like, oh, just as I was about to say, the trend will continue. Wiggly goes down. That is rare to see Wiggly Dantes fall. 7.33. Wiggly, 2A3, so a lot of time to go, 19 minutes. Ross, these are 30 minute heats. One surfer will get the golden ticket straight into the quarterfinals. For Wiggly Dantas here at Trestles, and then of course Adriano de Souza on the Rook 1-5 from Channel Island. So it's three of the top shapers uh, in the water right now with three of the top surfers. As you see a huge air attempt, whoa. But I uh, just wanted to give you a little perspective on what they're riding. Very similar equipment, but just three different shapers. Thanks, Pete be keen for in the heat. He likes those long waves that kind of allow him to attack it for five or six big moves where he knows he's going to get an 8.5 in his sleep. This one really was conducive for one big move. That's what Felipe looks for. Uh, so that was kind of cool. I was excited to see Adrian on one of those waves because we know he can mix it up. And so a bottom turn is overlooked, but it's really important. This is Joel Parkinson. Got a 7.33 to start. Nice looking medium sized wave for Parko to work with right here. Set up turns, getting to this inside. Unleashing a little bit, just looking down the line, hoping for something to open up for him. So a pretty solid wave for Parco. You know, nothing crazy, but definitely surfed it well. well nice opening turns, but uh, he didn't really get the opportunity to, to unleash like I'm sure he wanted to, so I think that'll probably come in just above a mid-range score. Yeah, and we're still working on that high tide condition, so some of these waves, you know, or, or you know, the waves in general can go to sleep for 10 minutes at a time, so I like the fact that even though this wave was a little bit stubborn for Joel, it wasn't, you know, one of those waves that really allowed him to tee off, a lot of just kind of setting up, connecting the dots. Stay busy, though, is, the, is a great plan right now. You know, you never know if we go into a long lull, he'll uh, have control of the of the heat and uh, you know that's that much less pressure for him. Wiggly, he's comboed right now but we know he's got plenty of time to climb out of that combo spot. Chris Cote here with Ross Williams. Ross, these heats have not let us down in the action category. We've seen a little bit of everything and we're gonna see more from Adriana de Souza right now. 
Oh, he's got a nice looking wave ahead of him. Negotiating a little bit of bounce on the takeoff. Straight back up into the lip line. Tail sliding maneuver gets hung up. Slow-mo action as he whips it back around. Decimating this wave from beginning to end. Now Adriano back on the face. Wow. Ross, Adriano never misses an opportunity to attack the lip, does he? That was your classic Adriano wave right there. That's what he looks for out there. He wants to, you know, bang away at 10 or 12 maneuvers. So that was really pretty cool surfing there. During the break, Wiggly trying to get, you know, his hat in the ring. Wow, and that's a couple of mistakes from Wiggly. Very rare, so I'm not sure if he's having equipment trouble or just feeling a little jittery, but that's pretty rare from Wiggly. And again, you know, a little rib right here that split that wave in half. It made it slightly awkward, but it was almost as if Adriano didn't care. And, you know, I was with you, the tempo of that tail slide a little on the, on the slow side, but then he makes up for it right here with some really fast, quick floaters to get back out to the to the shoulder. And, you know, that wave was so hard to surf, but Adriano Souza again, with that low center of gravity, that bottom turn that you like so much, he was getting caught up in midway. He goes, oh, let me get back at it. And just no, one no pump of his leg, and he gets it's straight it's back it's onto the face of the wave. You only have to be... Nick Fanny is making his way back out. He's watching right now as Adriana De Souza. And who we got else? Ace, Ace Bucking. So that is a pretty cool heat. A couple explosive goofy footers up against the silky fanning. Wow. Man, I almost forgot about this heat. That first heat was so crazy. Now I'm looking at that heat on paper. That is going to be a crazy matchup to watch. But Adriana De Souza trying to get the attention back on his surfing. He goes down. His last wave comes in. It's a 5 8 3, Ross. The judges, they weren't fooled. No. by the multiple maneuvers he really started getting going towards the end of the wave you gotta get started quick parko right now came in pretty quiet to this event but uh he's definitely not stayed that way he has tacked every wave he's gotten and here goes wiggly dantas maybe a little bit of desperation in his act right now he finds himself in third place but adriano he's still pushing what a rare left hander and adriano has a Harley backhand. I mean, he can throw some serious heat when uh, he's digging on his heels through those bottom turns. So Adriano, again, that yellow jersey, that is uh, haunting him right now. He just knows all eyes, all knives are aimed right at him. Uh, it matches the yellow jersey. It matches Adriano D'Souza because he's a worker bee. You know, this guy is not afraid to go into the trenches. Uh, you know, that way of another tricky one. It's high tide again. It's creating some unstable kind of surface here. But Adriano, I think that's his comfort zone. He likes to get dirty. He likes to, you know, be in those heats where there's kind of, it's kind of tough to find those big scores. So you can see he's in the zone. Didn't just, didn't push it enough. Here goes Joel Parkinson. Nice medium sized set wave here. Opens it up. Beautiful Parko turn. Straight up into the lip, little set up turn. Carving back around this wave, shouldering out a bit. Still working through this inside section, losing the tail a little bit on that wraparound. His low score, a 5-5-3. Five, five, Beautiful opening turn, but after that, the wave didn't really do him any favors. Well, there is a reason why uh, Joel was hesitant to go on that wave. He knew that it was A-framey. It didn't have that nice, steep wall. Um, so you could see he kind of reluctantly went, and he said, I, I just don't want to hand over a wave that's decent just in case, so he took care of it. And, and it's some really, again, there's that beautiful bottom turn on display, clean wrap, but no real exciting maneuvers. And you know what reminds me? Him and Mick Fanning, you know, they're that same generation. Uh, I think a way for them to spice it up, you know, they're not looking for the same moves as a Julian Wilson or a Felipe. They're not looking for big ramps. Well, Adriano's last wave comes in at a 6-6. Six, six. That's enough. It knocks Parker to second. So he's going to try to get to work on this little insider. Goes to the air. A little bit of a mistimed takeoff. I like what he's thinking, though. The minute and 50 seconds ago, he had to spin and go on that wave, and he had to try something big. So Adriano, man, you said it best. He's working for it, Ross. This is uh, the last shot for Wiggly Dantas. He needs an 8-3-3. Three, three. He's got to get nuts on this wave. Good opening turn. Another big, beautiful snap. Wow, oh, Wiggly, okay, he's made it through that critical third turn section. All the way to the inside. This thing's going to reform for him. Wiggly again. One more chance. Nails it on the inside. 
The emotions flow from Wiggly Dantes. He needed an 8 3 3. The turns on the outside, Ross, blistering. The judges now have their work cut out for him with 55 seconds to go. Wow, that was, in my eyes, easily the best wave so far in this heat. Wiggly's had a, a shocking heat, but you never know. He could come back in and just steal this thing from Adriano and Joel. Uh, I like this first turn really crisp, but this second one is crazy. Watch the spray. I mean, that went to the moon, so really sharp. There's that magic button that guys like him, Miguel, they're so good at really uh, just hitting it sparky they get so much speed out of it so that's the key and a point break like lowers it's not about just one big move and uh, you know leaning on that back foot it's about keeping that speed down the line wiggly that was pure right there and that kind of is the claim of 2015 isn't it the the double fisted clinch all right so here I think we he's have. gonna get it chris what do you think and it's, i think it's gonna be right there the judges have been wanting to see variety but he definitely threw some powerful surfing in the mix right there all right, so that's it. Now it's up to the judges. Wow, here we go. Wiggly Dantes just misses the score. An eight, two, three, right under what he needed. Adriana de Souza will go straight into the quarterfinals. Wow, a shocking turn of events.